Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams, and in this, our fifth video in the Learn From The Pros series about Adobe After Effects, I'm gonna be talking you through how we actually animate things on the timeline in Adobe After Effects. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about a very key concept, the key frame, if you will. Once you understand this core concept, it really unlocks a lot of the potential of this amazing program. So if you haven't seen those other videos in the series, I'd really encourage you to go back and watch them all the way through. But if you're ready to get into animating things on your timeline, then let's get into it. If we're gonna animate things on the timeline, we need to talk about properties. All layers have properties and you can access their properties by selecting the layer and twirling them open using this little arrow here. And that twirls open all of their properties. And then inside, you can twirl into groups. You'll notice that all layers have these transform properties. And that's what we'll be focusing on in this video, animating some of these properties that are common to all layers. Let's work with scale. If I start changing scale, you'll notice that the whole layer gets larger and smaller. So if I zoom in on the timeline here and I go to one second, so at one second, I would like the scale to be 100%. If we wanna set keyframes, we can simply click on the stopwatch here. And that puts a little keyframe diamond down on the timeline. A keyframe is just holding a certain value for a property at a certain time. At this current time, this layer's scale is 100%. If I move ahead to two seconds, I move my playhead there, I can set another keyframe by clicking this button here, setting a keyframe, and then increasing or decreasing, changing that number any way I'd like. But let's set it down to 50%. Since we've set our two keyframes, between them, we're going to see change over time. If you hit spacebar, it's going to preview and play through. Here, we can watch as this shape shrinks. The values are changing from 100 down to 50 between these two keyframes, these two points in time that we have selected when something is going to be a certain value. And this is true for every property, but keyframes also explain how we get from one number to the other. How do we go from 100 to 50? What is the character of the motion? Right now, these are what we would call linear keyframes. You can select your keyframes and then you can right click on them. You can go to keyframe assistant and then you can easy ease them or you can press F9 depending on your keyboard or you can ease in or ease out. But let's focus on easy easing for now. This will make the quality of the animation a little bit different. The character is going to change. Notice that now this is easing at the start and end. The way we're getting from one number to another has changed. We can observe this using something called the graph editor. The graph editor, which you can toggle on and off here with this button, changes what your timeline looks like. And if you select a property, you'll see it graphed here on the graph editor. Now, right now, this graph might not make a lot of sense. I'm going to zoom in so we can really zoom in to this curve. Right now, we are looking at what we call a speed graph. I'm gonna change that to look at a value graph. And this line represents what the value is at that certain time. And you can visually see how that value changes from one second to two seconds. If we select these keyframes, we can now change them down here. Perhaps we change them back to linear and you can see how it's no longer smooth on its journey. It's linear, it's just a line. But if we change that to be eased, we get these nice little handles and we can see how soft that change is. The graph editor is not only where we can observe this change of values, but we can manipulate it by grabbing these handles and moving them around, which will again change the quality of that motion. And we are changing the influence that a keyframe has over the value. But to start with, it's really just important to understand what's happening with keyframes. And we can set keyframes for all kinds of properties. Any property you see with a little stopwatch, you can change over time. We could change the position over time. We could change the opacity over time. Just remember, you set keyframes, by turning on the stopwatch, and then you go ahead in time and then change the value. You can do that down here on the timeline, or you can even do it in the comp window, for example, in the case of position, where we can change the position of something by just clicking on it and dragging it somewhere new. That will also set the keyframe for that layer, 
if that is the case in your preferences, which you may have to toggle on. But when you see these keyframes on your timeline, you're holding a value at a certain time, and the keyframe describes how we're getting from one value to another. Properties are found on layers, properties are found on effects, properties are found on everything. So now you're able to animate literally anything that you can see down here on the timeline. I really hope you've been enjoying this Learn From The Pros series about Adobe After Effects. I hope it's given you the first steps to start your journey and start making amazing things in this program. I'm Evan Abrams for Adobe Creative Cloud. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope we see you in more videos as you continue your journey. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you around the internet.